a shiny blue rock to add to my rock collection. <laughs> See, I have smooth rocks and bumpy rocks and rocks in every color. Well, every color but green. But I wonder what kind of rock this is. Do you know, Orbit? Hmm, let's see. It's blue and hard. Maybe it's a new kind of rock. Maybe my rock analyzer can help. Yeah! Oh, I know what kind of rock that is. It's called Moonstone. That's right. I used to have a bracelet made with Moonstones. You sure have a good eye for collecting rocks, Emma. Maybe we can all go rock hunting together. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go rock hunting. Well, that sounds like you're in for a rocking good time. Okay, let's see where you can go. The castle planet? We want to collect rocks, not build a castle with them. Music planet? Hmm, no. Although it's a great place to rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the mineral planet. Rocks are made up of minerals, so that's the perfect place for our yeah. mission. Yes, the mineral planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the mineral planet. Hey, maybe the 
there are some cool rocks in there. Hello? Any nice rocks in there? Uh, yeah. I'm going to dig, dig, dig. And soon you'll see. I'll find a rock, rock, rock. And name it after me. <laughs> yeah. We're going to dig, dig. tripped over an old rock. Not just any old rock. Look. Oh, it's huh? a green rock. Wow, no way. I've never seen a rock like this before. What is it? It's called a peridot. Sometimes it's found in meteorites. It's very rare. This rock is going to look great in my collection. <gasps> hey, wait a minute, huh? Rob. Why do you get to have it? I saw it first. Yeah, but I tripped over it, so it should be mine. No, it's mine. It's even green, like me. Guys, it's just a rock. No rock is worth friendship, right? But it's a special rock, and I saw huh? it first. <sighs> Come on, Orbit. Maybe we'll find more rocks this way. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops! <gasps> Find a rock, rock, rock to share with Orbit and me. <laughs> TK! I found something! Come quick! Orbit, how'd you get over there? I jumped to get this rock. Want to see it? It's so cool. Whoa! Whoa. TK, what's happening? This rock is teetering. And tottering! Yeah. You're putting it off balance! Yeah. Stop moving, Orbit! But if I can't move, how will I get off this rock? I don't know. Oh, I'm going for help. Stay right there. Okay. Where else could I go? <sighs> Come on, Emma! Jump! <laughs> but no rock is worth a friendship. And right now, our friend needs our help. <gasps> now, Orbit, jump! <laughs> you! Thanks, guys. But now your special rock is gone. That's okay. We have something even better than a special rock. We have a special Orbit. Aww. And we won't go home empty-handed. See? We still have my rock. Huh. This rock doesn't have a name. <laughs> really? A special rock deserves a special name. So? What are you going to name it, Orbit? Orbitite? Orbitium? No. I hereby call this rock... Friendstone. Friendstone! It's perfect! And I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to find...
find some cool new rocks, so we went to the mineral planet to do some rock hunting. There, we found rocks in all shapes, sizes, and colors, including a rare green rock. Both Emma and I wanted to keep it, but when Orbit got into trouble, we decided no rock is more important than a friendship, because good friends are hard to find. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Mineral Planet! Today is a rocket cleanup day. Come on! See? We're going through our stuff, getting rid of things that are old or broken, like these rocket boosters. Huh? Yeah! Three points! I've got more stuff, Rob. Junk box coming through. Oh. Oh. Mm. Orbit, I had everything neatly organized. But you bumped into me. No, you weren't watching where you were going. Whoa, easy there, cranky bots. It was just an accident, right? And no matter what happened, we can all work together to clean things up. You're right. I'm sorry, Orbit. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK, isn't this your favorite teddy Mr. Fuzzy was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Aw, poor Mr. Fuzzy was. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can get rid of our junk. Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. The junk planet! <laughs> yes, the junk planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. like this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? Mm. I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Rob, wait! Hi, Mr. Garbage Bot. I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your 
friends with a scrap metal loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! Orbit? Where'd he go? Here's some more boxes. Did you find the garbage bot? Yes, but he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. <laughs> Why would someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed, easily. See? It's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these, too? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled, like this plastic bottle. Rockin' robots! We really can make today Planet Cleanup Day. What do you think? Yes, we can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait, I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was. Oh no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless. Oh no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <gasps> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah! yeah. So much junk. We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank goodness for rocket boots. Mm. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. We've got to do something. Wait! Hi, I'm Rob. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah! <gasps> <gasps> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look. I think some lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. These are definitely garbage! <sighs> wow! That was so cool! I love having an intergalactic garbage, pal! So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? Hooray! Yay! And we can do 
do our part too, by taking some stuff back to the rocket, like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes, and I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today was our rocket cleanup day, so we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios and even a pogo stick. And we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back, thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rock. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Junk Planet! Emma has a problem. Ah! My moon boots! I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my moon boots. Oh, how could I have lost them? <gasps> hmm, don't ask me. I've even lost track of how many things I've lost. <gasps> Let's think, Emma. Huh? Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, and then I had them on the mud planet. Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we going to help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm. I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I I can't remember. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Huh? That looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Last ball. 
He sure found that in a hurry. That's because Squeak is really good at finding things. If Squeak can find his lost toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. Lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. Huh? And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. <sighs> Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You can pretend it's your tummy trunk. finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <gasps> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> oh! stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. How do we get back to Rob and Emma? I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. Uh... Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one, and left a trail. Yes! We can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly! TK, I am a finding genius, and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit. I think. It's no use yelling, Rob. They can't hear us through all these boxes. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started. But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh, listen. Huh? Sounds like it's coming from... TK, is that you? <sighs> Rob, what are you doing in there? Where's Emma? In here. Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us. <gasps> Don't worry. We'll get you out. <gasps> <gasps> Do you think the best finder 
forever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers? Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! The tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back for it! I'm going into Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Ha <laughs> ha! 
blow your nose so hard, Emma? <laughs> You're ruining my concentration. Huh? That wasn't me. Then where's that noise coming from? <coughs> Look, it's a goose. My name's Rob. These are my friends Emma, <laughs> TK, and Orbit. <laughs> Aw, you're a cute little guy, aren't you? I wonder what he's doing here. I don't know. Geese aren't supposed to like the cold. They migrate. Migrate? Yes, they migrate or travel to warmer places in winter to find food and shelter. But geese usually migrate together in large flocks. I only see one goose. He's all alone. Oh, <gasps> maybe he doesn't know how to fly. Aw, poor thing. If he doesn't know how to fly, he can't migrate. Maybe we can teach the goose how to fly. Yeah, that'll be our new mission. <laughs> okay, Feathers, follow me. Just do what I do. Feathers? Emma named him. It's better than calling him Goose. Doing? I don't know. Playing tag? <laughs> uh oh! Duck! Duck? I thought you said he was a goose. Whoa! <gasps> this isn't working. All I'm doing is making myself dizzy. And all Feathers is doing is having fun with TK Snowballs. Anyone else have an idea? <laughs> oh, I do! I think he needs to go faster. Orbit's right. Just like our rocket, the faster Feathers goes, the easier he'll lift off of the ground into the air. And what better way to get more speed than Anna? Huh? Ready? Um, Steady? W was this my idea? Go! Fly, feathers, fly! Noah, we need a new plan. I think I know what we need. <laughs> Whee! There! One more feather and... Ta-da! A super snowrific set of wings. What are you gonna do with those? I'm gonna show Feathers how to run and flap his wings fast so he can lift up into the air. <laughs> Control tower to TK. Ready for takeoff. Ready, Rob. Come on, feathers! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Look! Over here, feathers. Flap your wings. <laughs> great for showing feathers how to fly, but they're great for blocking snowballs. But, but now they're broken. Broken? Oh, sorry, Orbit. Now how will we get feathers up in the air? I know, it's ta-da! Rocket boot time! I don't think this is the time for fun and games, Rob. No, but it is time to show feathers what it's really like to fly. What do you say, Feathers? Want a lift?
can fly, why doesn't he migrate? Shouldn't he fly someplace warmer? Mm. Huh? More honking? Where's that coming from? Don't tell me it's another duck. No, it's more geese. It sounds like a whole flock of geese. <laughs> now that's what Feathers needs. A flock of geese to migrate with, so he won't be alone. Come on, we'll let them know Feathers is here. Honk, honk. Honk, 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 honk. honk, honk. I think he's going with them. Good luck, Feathers. Happy flying. Wow, I've got to admit, that was the most winter excitement I've ever had. <laughs> Me too. Me three. Yeah. And that means it's one big mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the winter planet, where we met Feathers the Goose. We tried to teach Feathers how to fly so he could migrate to a warmer place. But no matter what we tried, Feathers wouldn't fly on his own. Until he heard the call of other geese and decided it was time to fly away with them. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, You're just in time. We're just about to play a song we wrote. Come on. All right, let's get this concert started. <laughs> a one and a two and a one, two, three, four. TK? Thanks! Oh, my whammy bar's bent! Uh, maybe a little, but how does it sound? Uh. Ah, great! Let's keep playing! Orbit, my guitar's not supposed to sound like that. Oh. And now the whammy bar's stuck in there. Do you have another guitar you can use so we can keep playing? No. I'll have to fix this one. I just need the right tool. Oh, nope. Hmm, nuh uh. Uh, definitely not. <sighs> I have five bazillion tools, and not one of them is a whammy bar wrench. Maybe there's a planet nearby where you can borrow the right tool to fix your guitar. And we can give our other instruments a tune up, too. My drum's sounding a little glum. Yeah. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can fix TK's guitar. Well, that sounds like music to my ears. Let's see where you can go. The Fruit Planet? That's a good place to fix a snack, but not to fix an instrument. The Magic Planet? We want to put on a concert, not a magic show. Now that looks like a good place to fix an instrument. Yeah. <laughs> the repair shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
repair shop planet. The sooner TK can fix her guitar. And the sooner we can jam. Ooh, jam! Good idea. Anybody got any toast? <laughs> Orbit in music, playing a song with a band is called a jam. Oh, yeah. I knew that. So, what's a whammy bar wrench look like? Hmm. Well, it's about this big, and it's <gasps> totally not needed. Not when we have that tool over there. What is this? Hmm? A fix-it machine. What's a fix-it machine? It's a super tool that can fix anything. I've always wanted to try one. Sounds super. How does it work? You just bring your broken item over to it, press a button, and the machine does the rest. Here, I'll show you. Wow! Cool! Wow! Ooh. Huh? Orbit, what are you doing? Fixing all our instruments! No, Orbit, that's too many things for it to fix all at once! Uh, that can't be good for our instruments. Oh no! Once it starts fixing something, you can't shut it off! machine needs fixing. Don't worry, guys. I'm on it. I'll start by reprogramming the robot arms. It'll take a few minutes to get them working properly. A few loud minutes. Or are you hearing what I'm hearing? It's so musical. my microphone if I can find something else to make my voice sound louder. La, 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 la. Oh! La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Nice! Awesome! <laughs> okay, almost done. La, 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 huh? Rob? Emma? Orbit? Wow! This is neat! But don't you want to play with our instruments? We do, TK, but we're finding all kinds of stuff here to make music with. Try it! It's fun! But I really wanted to play my guitar. Oh, although I guess I could make my own music maker. <laughs> wow, neat! I think we have more than enough music makers to play our song. What do you say? Yeah! 
less jelly. I mean, jam. Mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we were having a jam session when TK's guitar got broken, so we went to the repair shop planet. We tried to fix it with the fix-it machine, only we ended up breaking even more instruments. While we waited for TK to fix the fix-it machine, we realized lots of things make nifty sounds, not just musical instruments. So we used those things to play our song, and we had an awesome jam. We learned that if something makes a sound, it can also make music. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Repair Shop Planet! I'm pretending to be da -da -da, Heracles, the ancient Greek hero. I'm stronger than a giant bull and faster than a horse. Oops. Oh, just when I was finally winning. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over your game. I was pretending to be Heracles. Who? Heracles. He was strong and brave and fast. And that made him a hero? He chased monsters. That seems pretty heroic. Hey, I'm really fast. Maybe I could be a hero. You mean a heroine. Yes! Emma the Mighty! Oh, me too! I'm not very fast, but I'm strong! See? Uh, maybe I need a little practice. Maybe there's some place where we can all train to become stronger and faster. Like what's his name? Heracles? Yeah, him! That would be awesome! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can train to be heroes, like Heracles. That sounds like one heroic mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. The cake planet? <laughs> that won't do. We don't want to train for a cake-eating contest. <laughs> Pet planet? That might work. If we were training pets. <laughs> the stadium planet! That's perfect! It looks just like the kind built in ancient Greece! Yes, the stadium planet! An excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt!
Stadium Planet. Creek Stadium, only way more Robo Cool. It's the perfect place for hero training. Hey, check this out. Are we supposed to do that? What? Lift these rocks? Sure. No. Uh, uh, problem. Wow, you look more like a hero already, Orbit. Me? Really? <laughs> hey, this isn't so hard. That's right. Now, step aside. Here comes my super strong out of this universe boulder lift. What? Ra, no, you might be. <clears throat> Simmering circuits. You are strong. Yeah, that was awesome. I guess rock lifting isn't my best talent, huh? Ah, you just need a little more practice, Orbit, and that's what training is all about. Then we'll all be super strong, like Heracles. Yeah. <laughs> I think you could be the next great hero, Rob. I know. We'll call you Robocles. Yes, Robocles, a hero among friends. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> oh, look, monster training. This must be a kind of obstacle course where we'll face monsters, just like Heracles did. for heroes like us. And heroines. And heroines to prove how brave we are. Think of this as a test. Uh, I hate tests. I'm terrible at tests. Maybe I'll just wait in the rocket. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm Robocles, hero among friends, remember? Stick with me and you'll be fine. Aha! Run! Huh? Whoa, <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe with Robocles. Come on. That was amazing. You're really good at this, Rob. Yes, Robocles, you're my hero. Thank you, thank you. The great Robocles at your service. Lead us to the next challenge, oh great Robocles. Look, it's a chariot race. Of course, heroes and heroines need to practice traveling with great speed. Oh, wow, those are the coolest hover chariots ever. Oh, this one is the perfect chariot for a hero like me. I'm pretty sure they're all the same, Rob. Don't you mean Robocles? Er, right. Robocles. I think they look a lot like the chariots found in ancient Greece. Hmm. Aren't these chariots supposed to have horses? I bet Heracles' chariot had horses. These are robo chariots. They move on hover power. Even Heracles couldn't catch me in one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. Hang on! Hey! Sorry! Woohoo! Finish line, here I come!
what happened. My hover chariot went berserk, but Orbit leapt into it and saved me. You mean I fell into it? Orbit, that was really brave and selfless of you. Yeah, that was amazing. I can't believe how quickly you stopped Emma's chariot. You're a big hero. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I thought I was a hero. You know, Robocles, a hero among friends. Oh, wait. You're right. Orbit is a hero. He was the one who helped Emma. While I was busy thinking about winning, he was helping a friend. That makes me a hero? Yes. Being a hero is more than just being strong or brave or fast. You put Emma before yourself. And that makes you a real hero. And for that, we name you Brave Orbitocles, the hero of Easy. heroes. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Yes, and that means this is one big heroic mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the stadium planet to train to be heroes and heroines. We lifted rocks and dodged monsters in order to be strong and brave, like Heracles. We even had a chariot race in order to be fast like Heracles. But when Orbit rescued Emma, we realized there's more to a hero than just being strong or brave or fast. A real hero puts others before him or herself. A very heroic mission indeed. I'd say it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Rodeo Roundup is kind of like tag, only we're cowboys and cowgirls, and Orbit is our bull. Let's get him! where we can be real cowboys and cowgirls for our day. That sounds like a mighty fine mission there, folks. Okay, let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet? We want to see the Old West, not rest. <laughs> the Pirate Planet? We want to be cowgirls and cowboys, not pirates. The Old West Planet? That's a mighty fine for a cowpoke adventure. Yes, the Old West Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
for the day and he wonders if someone can take care of things while he's gone. Kind of like an honorary sheriff. You mean one of us can be sheriff for the day? I reckon that's the perfect job for me. Are you sure, Emma? Being the sheriff is a big responsibility. You have to take care of the town and make sure things get of done and... Of course I'm sure. I'm gonna be a great sheriff. You'll see. Way for the sheriff! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I reckon I better figure out what needs to be done around these parts. Hmm. Fix the wagon, sweep the porch, clean the stable, and... Oh, feed the bull. Bull? Looks like a family a rodeo. Uh, sorry, Rob. It doesn't say anything here about riding the bull. We're supposed to feed it. And while I do that, Rob, you can sweep the porch. TK, you're good with tools. You can be the blacksmith and fix the wagon. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you, Orbit, you <laughs> can clean out the stables. All right. Well, come on on, y'all. Get a move on. Better not forget to close this gate when I'm done. Huh. We don't want a bull running around the town. Easy there, big fella. <laughs> Aren't you a cute little doggy? Huh? What in blazing saddles? Howdy, blacksmith. I was wondering what all the noise was. I think I fixed the wagon. All it needed was a new wheel which I made using some metal and these old tools. Oh, great! We should take a ride. What about our chores? Don't be silly. There's always time for a wagon ride, partner. Hop on. Huh? Wait a minute. I think we're missing something. Where's the horse to pull the wagon? We don't need a horse. You've got rocket boots, Rob. Give us a push. Giddy up. Let's get this wagon rolling, partner. <sighs> All right. Hang on. Yeehaw! <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Now, everybody, back to work. Don't worry. I'll hitch up the wagon. I am the sheriff, after all. You two can finish sweeping up the town. All right. Come on, TK. Yeehaw! Give it a tie, yo, yo! Huh? Get your horsey! Wow! Where did you find these horses, Orbit? In the stable. They were just itching to go for a ride. Well, you know, as sheriff, it's my job to make sure these horses are in mighty fine shape. Yeehaw! Ride up, horses! Horses? I thought we were supposed to be doing our chores. You know, work now, play later. <laughs> Nobody tells the sheriff what to do. Unless they want my job. Are you challenging me to a duel, cowboy? I reckon I am. Paper? 
Scissors! Woohoo! Paper beats rock. I win! Whee! yippee -ki yay Oh, the wagon! Oh, no! I forgot to hitch it up! Uh-oh! Sheriff. I think you were just too busy having fun, Emma. There's a time and place for everything. And now is the time to run! Ah! 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 I'm okay! This hay bale broke my ball. It's a good thing. I'm so sorry, Orbit. It was all my fault. Being sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's hard work, and I wasn't very responsible. I hope it isn't too late to fix things. Of course not. And don't worry, we'll help you, right? Right! Whew! The wagon is hitched, and the town is nice and tidy. I guess the only thing left to do is to put Cuddles back in his pen. Cuddles? The bull. That's my pet name for him. He's such a cutesy little fella. Come on, Cuddles. Well, partner, I think you've truly earned that sheriff's badge today. You think so? Thanks. And we got to be cowboys and cowgirls for a day. I reckon that means this is one big mission accomplished. Yee-haw! Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Old West Planet, where Emma decided she wanted to be sheriff for a day. Only I was so busy having fun, that I neglected to do the jobs I was supposed to do as sheriff. When things got out of hand, Emma realized being a sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's about responsibility. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. It's not exciting. It's terrible. What do you mean, Emma? I didn't want to lose my tooth. It's my tooth. How will I chew? How will I smile? I need my tooth. TK, help me put it back in. What? How? I don't know. I've never lost a tooth hmm. before. Ah! Uh -uh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> mm. mm -mm. Maybe the Tooth Fairy can help. Yeah! The Tooth Fairy! I've heard of her. And that sounds like we have a mission. Mm -hmm. You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find the Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy? Sounds exciting. Let's see where you can go. Candy Planet? All that sugar isn't good for tea. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh, spare Part huh? Planet? Emma isn't a robot, so the spare part planet won't be much help. <gasps> hey, this looks like the right place. The fairy planet. Yay! 
Yes, the fairy planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. So you're the Tooth Fairy? Me? No, I'm the Pillow Fairy. A pillow? How is a pillow gonna help me put my tooth back in? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Nobody really needs a Pillow Fairy these days, I guess. Uh, we do. Really? Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll bet you can help us find the Tooth Fairy. I do know this planet like the inside of a pillowcase. Great. See, Emma, we'll find the Tooth Fairy and have your tooth back in your mouth before you can say toothless. snow isn't cold. And why does it smell so... minty? Oh, this isn't snow. It's toothpaste. We're in toothpaste tundra. <gasps> the Tooth Fairy! Come back! That wasn't the Tooth Fairy. That was the Toothpaste Fairy. Uh, what does she do? Fills tubes with toothpaste. It's a sticky job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> toothpaste fairy? Huh. Let's hope Orbit and TK are having better luck. Yoo-hoo! Tooth fairy, where are you? Hmm. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> What's this string doing in the forest? It isn't string, Orbit. It's dental floss, mm. the stuff you floss your teeth with. Do you know what that means? Hmm. Uh, the, the trees have teeth? <laughs> no. It means the Tooth Fairy must be nearby somewhere. Yeah! Hmm. 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 <gasps> oh! Excuse me, uh, Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy? Oh no, I'm Fairy Floss, the Dental Floss Fairy, at your service. Oh, our friend Emma lost a tooth and she needs help. So where can we, uh, find her? Oh, you can't find the Tooth Fairy. She'll find you. Huh? How? I'm not sure. Maybe try asking the Pillow Fairy. The Pillow Fairy? Okay, 
We're back in Pillow Place and still no Tooth Fairy. I don't think I'm ever gonna find the Tooth Fairy. I know it'll cheer you up. A comfy pillow. Hugging one always makes me feel better. Huh? Hmm. Thanks, but it's no use. I'll never find a way to fix my tooth. I don't even want to look at it anymore. <sighs> Whoa! The Tooth Fairy? Wow! The Tooth Fairy! It's the Tooth Fairy! Banter! <laughs> Actually, I found you. That's how it works. You put your tooth under your pillow, and I, the Tooth Fairy, come to you to give you a surprise. Ooh, a sticker? Thanks. <gasps> but wait, where's my tooth? It fell out, and I don't know how to put it back in. Back in? Oh, no, dear. There's nothing to fix. It's perfectly normal for young children and aliens to lose their baby teeth. Baby teeth? Yes, and soon you'll grow a new grown-up tooth in its place. One that won't ever fall out. So you'll need to take extra special care of your teeth from now on. Lots of toothbrushing and flossing. Wow, okay. Thanks, Tooth Fairy. My pleasure, dear. <sighs> I feel so much better. Baby teeth? Who knew? Well, we do now. Thanks to the Tooth Fairy. She's awesome. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. What's wrong, Pillow Fairy? Oh, nothing. It's just... It's always the other fairies saving the day. I wanted to be a helpful fairy for a change. But you were the most helpful fairy of all. We found the Tooth Fairy because of the pillow you gave me. You did save the day. Oh shucks. You're making me cry. Where's the tissue fairy when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd say this is one big toothy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? upset because her tooth fell out. So we went to the fairy planet to ask the tooth fairy for her help. We met lots of fairies. The pillow fairy and the toothpaste fairy. Don't forget fairy floss. And of course, the tooth fairy. She explained that Emma doesn't need her tooth. Another bigger tooth will grow in its place. So I'm going to brush and floss my teeth and take care of them. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go out. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fairy Planet! In karate, breathing out loudly adds power to your moves. Whoa! Huh? Uh, what are you practicing, Orbit? Fly Jetsu! Hi-ya! This pesky space fly is driving me ah, crazy! What's up? Huh? <laughs> Whoa! How'd you do that? My karate training. It's given me ninja fast hands. Cool. Can I try? Uh, is karate safe? What's with all the kicking? <laughs> karate isn't all about kicking. Some martial arts teach focus. Some teach stealth. And others teach hand-eye coordination. 
I could show you. Oh, right! Then we'll all have ninja fast hands! Fast enough to catch that crazy fly! <laughs> but... <gasps> is there enough room on the rocket for all of us to train? No, we'll need a special place. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where I can teach everyone martial arts. Oh, how exciting. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The vegetable planet. A good place to chop veggies, but not to karate chop. Kia! Hmm, a Halloween planet. Great for dressing up like a ninja, but not for learning martial arts. Dojo Planet! Dojos are where martial artists train. Yes, the Dojo Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. get really good at martial arts, the first thing we need to learn is meditation. Let me show you. Close your eyes, breathe slowly, and focus only on your pose. How are we going to learn martial arts if we're sleeping? The more we practice imagining each pose, the easier it is to do them when we finally try. Meditation teaches you focus. Now you try. Imagine the pose you want to take, then slowly take it. Mm, almost got it. <sighs> Phew. Uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, meditating. Uh, can I uh, open my eyes yet? Orbit, shh. Focus on your pose. Oops. Sorry. Hey, maybe I can do this. Oh no. Sorry, I'll never learn this martial arts stuff or catch that pesky fly. You will, Orbit. You just need to believe you will. Ninja? <laughs> it's called ninjutsu. Ninjutsu training helps with stealth. Stealth? If you want to be a ninja or a good flycatcher, you need to be fast and move without being seen. That's what stealth means. We'll practice with this. What does ninjutsu have to do with squeaky wagons? I'm going to make it disappear. 
I'll believe this when I don't see it. <laughs> huh? <gasps> hey, I don't see it. Always be aware of what's around you and move when no one's looking. Oh, I bet I can do that. Uh -um. Look, a crouching tiger. Oh. Ouch. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just too clumsy to be a ninja. Nobody gets it right on the first try, Orbit. You have to stay positive and keep at it. Come on! Draw the arrow, focus, and release. Whoa! Kyudo training is my favorite. Kyudo is the Japanese word for target archery. To master Kyudo, you need to have good hand-eye coordination and focus. Ah, those are all the skills I don't have. Focus only on the target and believe you can hit it, Orbit. Place your feet, ready the bow, draw the arrow. Like this? Ah, ah. Other way, Orbit. Wrong way, Orbit. Orbit. Focus on the target, not us. Sorry. Feet, bot, ready the bow, draw the arrow. I believe. I believe. Draw it all the way. Release. Woo! Don't be space bugs. I hit it. See, Orbit, I knew you could do it. Cool. Can I try again? You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the dojo planet so I could teach everyone martial arts. The first step was learning focus, so we practiced meditation. But Orbit had a difficult time with that pesky space fly buzzing about. Next, we learn ninjutsu to help us with stealth. But it's hard to be stealthy when you're making a lot of noise. Then we tried Kyudo to help improve our hand-eye coordination. And sure enough, once Orbit focused, he hit the target. When you're trying to learn new things, always stay positive and never give up. Orbit kept at it, and he finally got pretty good. He just needed to believe in himself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Dojo Planet. We're playing Guess My Wild Animal. Roar! <laughs> oh, my. Ferocious and brave. Hmm. 
I'm gonna guess you're the king of the jungle, a lion. That's right! You'll have to be fast to catch me, lion. Bet you can't guess what I am, TK. Graceful and a great jumper. Easy peasy, a gazelle. Huh? <laughs> Quit monkeying around, Orbit. Everyone knows monkeys are your favorite. Way too easy. Okay, Smarty Pants, now it's our turn to guess. Let's see your animal. <laughs> oh, uh, I know. I'm the wisest of all animals. Oh, hmm, it's, um, hmm. A turkey? I'm an elephant. Oh, that was really good. No, it wasn't. I tried, but I've never seen an elephant before. I've only read about them in my book. You've never seen a real elephant before? But they're your favorite. Oh, no. I've never seen any wild animal in real life. Isn't that kind of dangerous? No, it's so much fun. As long as you have a safe place to watch them from. Oh, you could even take pictures. Then you could make your own animal book. That's a great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see wild animals. Oh, how exciting! Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Pet planet? We don't want to see kittens. We want to see lions. The farm planet? Cows aren't wild. Just a little stinky. The safari planet. That's the perfect place to see wild animals. Yes, the safari planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. No feeding the animals. Oh. Are the animals hungry? Maybe they'll want to eat us. <laughs> don't be such a worry wart. Animals don't eat robots. <gasps> That's the spirit. Nut? Oh. 
Mm. Baby monkeys are called infants. And if he's hurt, we should call for help. You're all breaking the first rule. Relax. I mean, look how cute he is. It's not like he's going to do anything bad. Huh? Uh, guys? Oh, uh, nice monkey. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was pretty bad. Quick, we need to go after them. Across. Hmm, maybe they crossed here. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a gazelle! Huh? Its horns are just tiny. I think it's a female. She's so beautiful. Wow. Hey, she's eating one of my nuts. TK must have come this way. Um, Rob, why is your log moving? Huh? <gasps> the same reason yours is. They're not logs, they're crocodiles. Ah! <laughs> Phew. Huh? huh? But TK wouldn't feed a wild animal. That's against the second rule. Maybe she left it behind as a clue for us to follow. Or you don't think the gazelle ate her, do you? No, Orbit. Gazelles are herbivores. They eat grass. Nothing out here eats robots. <laughs> That's not good. And robots! A lion! And TK's book! She's definitely been eaten. Lions are carnivores. They only eat meat. The book must be another clue. Hey! He smells something! It smells like my nuts! This way! But where's TK? I don't think that... What? The elephant ate me? Huh? huh? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Looks like our funky monkey here is friends with the elephant. He was just bringing him a snack. We were so worried. I'll never break the rules or call you a worry wart ever again. <laughs> I forgive you, Orbit. I'm sorry we ruined the safari for you, TK. You didn't even get to take pictures for your book. Are you kidding me? Check it out. Whoa! Amazing! These are great! Thanks. But, uh, guys, shouldn't you get back in the pod yeah. now? <laughs> Here we go! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to go someplace safe to see wild animals, so we went to the safari planet. Wild animals can be dangerous, that's why safaris have important rules. We found an infant monkey and thought he was hurt. Without thinking, we broke the first two safety rules and we lost TK. Thankfully, TK left clues for us to follow and along the way, we saw some of our favorite animals. Eventually, we found TK and learned a big lesson. 
When visiting a zoo or on safari, always make sure you follow the rules. That way, you'll always be safe. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Safari Planet! What? We're playing Crab Tag. Come on! In Crab Tag, you can only move sideways, just like a real crab. Sure you don't want to play, TK? I'm good. I'm reading. Oh! Oh! Gotcha, Emma! Huh? You can't catch me! I'm fast! <laughs> oh! Which is why I'm gonna get Orbit instead. Whoa! Hey, where'd he go? Orbit? Crab it down! Ah! <gasps> We're playing crab tag, Orbit, not hide and seek. <laughs> Being a hermit crab, this is my shell. Oh, what's a hermit crab? A hermit oh. crab is a type of crab who lives in a shell. Here, I'll show you. The shell protects the crab. As the crab grows, it needs to find a bigger shell to live in. If it can't find a shell, it might use whatever it can find. Like a bottle? Cool. Wow. I'd like to meet a hermit crab. <laughs> Me too. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a planet where we can meet a hermit crab. Oh, how exciting. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The imagination planet? We want to meet a real crab, not an imaginary one. Mateys. We won't find a crab on the buccaneer planet unless it's a crabby buccaneer. <laughs> the beach planet. That's the perfect place to find a crab. <laughs> yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. often live in tidal pools or sandy shores. I bet I can find one. Not if I find one first! Look! 
orbit. That's a rock. Oh, oops. Huh? Look! Huh? There's a crab! Hmm. Uh. That's a frog orbit. <gasps> Maybe we need to take another look at my e-reader, so we'll know what a hermit crab looks like. Hmm. Hermit crabs are orangey gray, pincers, buggy eyes. I don't know. It could be hard to find one. <laughs> Phew, I don't think it's gonna hurt us, whatever it is. Simmering circuits? Rob, it's a hermit crab. Huh? It can't be. It's walking forward, not sideways. That's how hermit crabs walk. They're different from other crabs. But where's its shell? Oh, he doesn't have one. He must have outgrown his shell, and now he's a naked hermit crab. Uh, 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 he's a crabby crab. I'd be crabby too if I didn't have a shell to keep me safe. Maybe we should find him a new one. Great idea, Rob. Hi, crab lord. I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Norbit. We're gonna help you find a new shell, okay? This'll be a piece of cake. As long as it isn't crab cake. <laughs> Rob, but I think Crabart needs a much bigger shell. Like this one. Woo! Pretty! Phew! And open for business! Check it out! Hmm? This is so cool! The most awesome thing ever! What is it? <gasps> it's a sand dollar! <laughs> I bet Crabart will like it! Try on. A crab fashion show. I like it. There he is. We brought you some shells, Crabort. Ooh. Ta da! Shell number one. What do you think? It'd make a good home, right? Oh! What's wrong with it? It's the right size, and it's brown, and hard, and. <laughs> what about my shell, Crabart? <laughs> hmm, it's a tad too big. Hmm. You get on my sand dollar. It might make a nice hat or umbrella. Flying disc! I'll get it! Oh! I knew it! Crabwort likes my sparkly shell the best! Oh. Ah. <sighs> what are we gonna do? We've already searched the beach. I think we found all the shells. Hmm. Does it have to be a shell? Can't Crabwort use something else? Hmm. Don't worry. There must be something around here that Crabort can use for a shell. Oh! Huh? Huh? Uh... Huh. <laughs> a coconut shell! It's so coconutty, it just might work. It's the perfect size. But how do we get it open? Crabort needs to be able to climb inside. Allow me. <laughs> Yay! See? Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to admit, that's craptastic. Aww. It fits! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we help Crabbert find a new home, we made a new friend. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission
Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we went to the beach planet to meet a hermit crab. Only he was a naked hermit crab. He had outgrown his shell. We decided to search for a shell for crab work, but the shells we found were too big, too small, too flat, or too smelly. Then I spotted a coconut. It turns out a coconut shell makes a great home for a hermit crab like crab work. And then crab work wasn't crabby anymore. He was a happy crab. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Beach Planet. Bye, Crab Wars. Oh, come on, Orbit. Yeah, what are you making? Ta-da! It's for the Intergalactic Art Show. What do you think? Wow! A cat! Cool! I really like it! Me too! I wish I had one just like it! Really? Well, I can make you one! For real? Just like it? Sure! But how are you gonna do that, Orbit? You're all out of parts. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could find a hardware store. They'd have parts. Or better yet, why don't we go someplace where we can make a copy of Orbit Sculpture? Yes! Yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where we can copy Orbit sculpture. All right, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The snowy planet? But every snowflake is unique. We won't find copies of anything there. The puzzle planet? Jigsaw pieces are all different. No copies there either. <laughs> the copycat planet, a place with all kinds of copies. Perfect. The copycat planet, good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. the on button. Whoa! It's a copy machine, all right. 
It made an exact copy of Orbit. But which one's the real Orbit? I am. Excuse me? You're the copy. I'm the real deal. Oh, you're real, all right. Real confused. I'm the real deal. No, you're a copycat. Stop pretending to be me in front of Rob, Emma, and TK. I'm not a copycat. I'm Orbit. And who are Rob, Emma, and TK? Aha! Uh -huh. He's the copy. Because he doesn't know who we are. Ha-ha! <laughs> Told you! I'm the real deal! Guys, we came here to copy Orbit's sculpture, not Orbit. Exactly! We need to fix this. Fix this? What do you mean? Being Orbit is awesome! No way! I'm a one-of-a-kind robot. There can't be two Orbits. Nuh-uh. I'm a one-of-a-kind robot. Don't be jealous. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Uh, but you can't do everything I do. Was always makes me feel better. What am I going to do now? I'm supposed to be an exact copy. I'm sure if we work together, we can figure out how to make you orange again. You do that for me? Uh, I bet. sure would. Uh, yes, if I have to have a copy, I'd rather you be a happy copy than a sad one. So, let's find a way to change you back. <laughs> Copy machine! It'll be great to be an exact copy again. Just like these flowers. Huh? Ah! They smell nice. Hey, how come you're not sneezing? What's sneezing? Huh? Ah! 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 Jump! <laughs> that is... Flowers always make me sneeze. Really? Weird. They don't do that to me. Ah! Sneeze! <laughs> don't worry, they're gone. Huh? How come you weren't startled? I don't know, they're just bees. Nothing to be afraid of. Really? They freak me out. Hmm, you know... I'm starting to think maybe you and I aren't exactly alike. Hey, Orbits! Come quick! We figured out the copy machine! <laughs> there. We're all set. Right, TK? Looking good, Rob. All systems set to... Orange! Hop on in! I think... I think I changed my mind. Huh? What's the matter, Orbit 2? Well... I know I'm supposed to be orange because I'm a copy, but I think I like being blue. I like being different. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes! Of course that's okay! <laughs> Do you know what this means? It means I'll be a one-of-a-kind robot! Yes! And I'll be a one-of-a-kind orbit again! changed your mind. I realized it wasn't so bad being different. In fact, it makes me feel kind of special. You are special. And you know, you'd be even more special if you had a unique name. Yeah. How about Tibro? Tibro? That's Orbit. Spelled backwards. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, do you want to go?
to come back with us too, bro? There's room on our rocket. Thanks, but I'm going to stay with the coffee machine. Since we're both unique to this planet, we should stick together. Okay, we'll come back and visit you sometime. Goodbye, Bye, See you soon. Oh, wait, Emma, I still need to make you a copy of my cat sculpture. It is a good sculpture, Orbit, but why don't you make me something different instead? You know, something unique. Yeah, like Tipro and me. Hmm, I've got some clay on the rocket. Maybe I'll make a dog sculpture. Great idea, Orbit. And I think this is one unique <laughs> mission <laughs> accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we went to the copycat planet so Orbit could make a copy of a sculpture for Emma. But instead of making a copy of the sculpture, we accidentally copied Orbit. Orbit likes being a one-of-a-kind robot, so when his copy turned blue, Orbit was really happy. But then his copy became really sad until he realized it's okay to be different. Being different and unique means being special. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, copycat planet. It's for me, an invitation. To what, a picnic? I love yummy picnics. Oops, I'm hungry. Even better, it's an invitation for the Great Galactic Cook-Off. Only, it's tomorrow. That doesn't give you much time to come up with a dish. I need to find my recipe book, quick. <gasps> oh, my chef's hat. Wow. There are so many awesome recipes in here. Too many. How am I going to choose? Don't worry. We'll help you. We can even help with the cooking. And we can help with the tasting. You guys are the best. OK, first, we need some fresh ingredients to inspire me to come up with an amazing dish. We can stop at the Galaxy Grocery. Yeah! But that's all the way on the other side of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. The sooner we find food, the sooner we can cook <gasps> and eat. <laughs> yeah! And that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to find some fresh ingredients to cook up the galaxy's greatest meal. What a delicious mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. I love the soccer planet, but I'm way too hungry to play right now. Stinky Fun Planet? Jam. Now that's a yummy looking planet. The food planet. Delicious choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
If it's what I think it is, we're looking at the wondrous, the fantabulous Foodomatic Machine. Foodomatic Machine? The Foodomatic Machine? I can't believe it! Uh, what's the Foodomatic Machine? It's only the most amazing cooking invention ever. The Foodomatic can cook any dish in the galaxy right here. We don't even need a recipe. We simply add ingredients and the Foodomatic will do the rest. But what kind of meal should we make? Ah, I know. We'll make Rob surprise. I'll eat some strawberries, a pinch of pineapple, a squeeze of squash, oh, and some spaghetti. Can't forget that. Talk of food is making me even hungrier. Well, I can fix that. So now what? I don't know. Maybe we push another button, or say please, or uh. uh... Ah! known as squash getty with pineapple fruity meatballs. Squash getty with pineapple fruity meatballs? Ew. Hmm. Wow, I'm stuffed. I ate so much my tummy trunk is full. Mm. It was mm, mm good. Emma, you haven't even touched your food yet. Was something wrong with your dish? Well, it, uh... <sighs> It's too yucky. I can't eat it. It looks yucky and sounds yucky, so it must taste yucky. How do you know when you haven't even tried it? Because the ingredients in Rob's surprise don't go together. It can't possibly taste good. But Emma, it did taste good. Oh, I don't believe that for one robo second. <sighs> If we want to win, we'll need to make a simple, normal dish. One everyone will love. But we're running out of time. The cook-off is tomorrow. Wait! I know! Guys, help me put some apples and bananas in the machine. I'll tell you yeah. when to stop. Um... Okay. Oh! How about a little eggplant, Emma? Eggplant and apples, Rob? Eggplant is delicious! Trust me, Rob, it's yucky! Now let me handle this. I'm the chef! Hmm. You're supposed to be helping me! Is this too many bananas, Emma? Oh! <laughs> Not pickles, Rob! Ick! <gasps> oh, what? Not meatballs, mangoes! No, not mangoes, meatballs! Ah! Oh, 
Are you okay? I'm so hungry. I can barely move. Aww. You should have some Rob surprise. Uh, why not? I'm hungry enough to eat anything right now. Mm -mm -mm. Wow! This is actually really yummy. Why was I so picky? All I needed to do was try it. It's delicious. Really? Thanks. Oh, I just wish we had more of it so we could enter it in the cook-off. Huh? Ha! Now that's a Rob surprise. This is going to be a great galactic cook-off. And it's one big yummy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? some Rob's surprise with the food o -matic. Only Emma wouldn't even try it. She tried to make her own meal, but we got carried away, and because of us, the machine went haywire. We finally shut it down. By then, Emma was so hungry, she agreed to try my dish. And she liked it. Sometimes it pays to keep an open mind and try new things. What a scrumptiously successful mission. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Food Planet! Here you go! I cooked the crunch out of these crater carrots. Thanks, Orbit. Okay, who's doing the Saturn salad? All done, Rob. Chop and toss. Good. Let's see. The lunar lasagna is cooked. Ooh, what else is there? Comet cake for dessert! Uh-oh. I knew I forgot something. Huh. What? We can't help help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that, too but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help-giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy. But not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh, the book planet. Yeah. That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes, but we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good place. <laughs> Excellent choice, the Comet Cake Planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Planet. 
Rockin' robots! Look at all the comet kids! <laughs> start celebrating Hope Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm, maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right. It's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. Hmm, it's turned into a comet mush. All the good ones have been picked already. <laughs> there must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. <gasps> and there it is! Yeah! Whoa! That's the one! Yes! <laughs> He just took our comet cake. Well, it's not getting away with it. <laughs> yes, he is. Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Spaceship is that? Oh, but it belongs to that greedy Gears cake snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on Help Giving Day? That's the worst. You'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. I'd say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help, too. Hmm. Mm. The baby. I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Your ship. 
so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Comet Cake Planet to get one for our help-giving dinner dessert. But every Comet Cake was too hard or too mushy, except one. But another robot took it. We thought he was being greedy. But then we found out he and his son were just hungry. Since Help Giving Day is to celebrate helping others, we helped them by fixing their broken spaceship so they could go home. And we learned how much others appreciate it when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember, even when it's not Help Giving Day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, to do. Verily is how knights say it's true. Oh, I have a good deed for you, Sir Rob. Huh? You can help me clean my room. Knights do way more adventurous things than that, Orbit. <laughs> you haven't seen my room. <laughs> In olden days, knights roamed the country doing brave deeds for their king and anyone else who needed it. Ooh, being a knight would be so much fun. Let's find a place where we can all be knights for a day. Yeah! Ooh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can be knights for a day. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Buccaneer Planet. Avast, mateys. That's a super fun place to play. Verily, TK. But we want to be knights, remember? Yeah! Circus Planet! Ooh, I love clowns! <laughs> Me too, Emma. But clowns do silly things, not brave deeds. Oh, how about Castle Planet? Castles are where knights spend their days. <laughs> yes, the Castle Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown! <laughs> Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
Next up, the Castle Planet. This must be where brave knights practice doing battle stuff. And that throne must be where the king sits to watch them. That sounds like fun. But who's going to be the king? Oh. <laughs> I'll do it. I always wanted to try being the boss. Oh, hail King Orbit. Okay. I, King Orbit, command my knights to use that catapult to hit that target. Yes, your orbitness. Aha. Uh -huh. Knights use catapults to throw big rocks to knock down castle walls. But we'll use those big bean bags so we don't break anything. Could you please give us uh, a hand orbit? Kings don't do stuff like that. We sit on a throne and look kingly. <laughs> Whatever you say, King Lazy Bones. Lazy Bones? Kings are not Lazy Bones. And for calling me one, I agree that Sir Rob will get last turn. <laughs> Rock and robots. Orbit sure is getting bossy. <sighs> He's the king, Rob. And a king is the boss. Ah, I'll go first. Ready? Aim. Fire! Huh? Ah! You missed the whole tower! Verily, I am verily disappointed. We're just warming up. Sir Rob and I still have our turns. Oh, no, you don't. Your king will show you how it's done. Oh, but kings just sit on thrones and look kingly, remember? Huh? Uh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> then, as king, I've decided no more catapult. Aww. No fair! Like you said, he's the boss. And as your boss, I now command you to do something more entertaining. Okay, how about a joust? Right! That's where two brave knights try to knock each other off their trusty steeds. Steeds means horses. I know that. I'm the king, and kings know everything. And this king says, let the jousting begin! <laughs> Lances look like fun. You and Emma go first, Rob. Too far, Orbit? You could just get it yourself. Fine. I will get it myself. Like 
like helping you if you said please. Rob's right. You're not being very polite. And you're way too bossy. Do this! Do that! Your king commands you! I have been bossy, huh? It's no fun being king. All they get to do is sit on a throne. Knights have all the fun. Being a king did look boring. I'm sorry I was bossy. Now, could someone please help me get down? You said the magic word. Forward, brave knight. A good deed awaits. Verily. Verily. Uh-oh. This gate uh, is even heavier than those uh, big bean bags. Oh. Wait, I have an idea. Orbit, the gates drop when you pull that big lance down. Maybe they'll open if you lift it up. Uh, it's stuck. I can't do it by myself. Uh. What about your jet boots, Rob? Hmm, they won't get me up that high. I know. We can use the catapult to give you a boost. That's using your noodle. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the castle planet to be knights for a day. Orbit decided to be King Orbit, but he got too bossy and told us to do things without saying please. But when he finally said please, we were happy to help. So, we got to be brave knights and learned that you don't have to be bossy to be a good boss. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Castle Planet. Everybody. Just getting salad tongs. I've got the dressing. Ah! Whoa! Ta-da! You need to be more careful. I mean, what's more important, salad or safety? It's a toss-up. Get it? <laughs> Come on, let's make a super yummy good for the tummy salad. Um, I've got bad news. We're all out of tomatoes. And cucumbers. Uh. And lettuce. What? A salad isn't a salad without lettuce. Wow. He's serious about lettuce. Are you sure we're all out? I'm sure. <sighs> we go through more lettuce than a drove of rabbits. How can you be talking about driving rabbits at a time like this? <laughs> a drove of rabbits is just another way of saying a group, Orbit. What we need is our own vegetable garden. Then we'd never run out. That's a great idea. We could grow our own carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers. And lettuce! A whole drove of lettuce! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can plant our own vegetable garden. That sounds like a delicious idea. 
Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The bath planet? No, that's where we go to get clean after we plant a garden. The beach planet? That won't do. Vegetables need soil to grow, not sand. The garden planet, that's perfect. Yes, the garden planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. garden, Orbit. Lots of folks come here to plant vegetables, so somebody must have left it out. Uh, somebody wasn't thinking about safety. Hey, look at this spot. No one's using it. It would make a good garden, don't you think? Sure, but we'll have to prepare the soil first. It needs to be dug up and turned over using shovels. I can do that. I can help. Um... Also, we'll need a plan. We need to figure out what to plant and where to put it. That could be our job, TK. Come on, let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to report the garden site is ready to go, Captain Soil. Awesome, Major Dirt. Operation Veg, very excellent garden, is underway. And while you were digging, we figured out where plants should go. Yes, we organized the plants into rows, so we'll know what each vegetable is when it sprouts out of the ground. One question, Agent Sprout. What's with the chicken wire? Are we growing chickens? <laughs> of course not. It's to keep out the rabbits. Rabbits love vegetables. Good idea. We don't want anyone or anything eating our lettuce. <laughs> right. Now all we need to do is plant the seeds and seedlings. Hey, I know. Let's have a race to see who can plant the seeds the fastest. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Oh. 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 Oops, sorry. Oh, I wish everyone would stop leaving garden tools lying around. I win. I'm the fastest, so I'm the... <gasps> Ouch! Are you okay? Are you sure? Well, okay. But you should be more careful where you're stepping. Ah! Uh, Captain Soil? Huh? Rob? What are you doing? Wait a minute. There's something funny going on. What's he doing? Oh, I get it. He's pretending to be a rabbit. Ha ha, very funny, Rob. Uh, are you sure he's joking around? Maybe that bonk on his head was harder than we thought. Rob? Uh-oh, I think you're right. Maybe Rob has a loose wire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He thinks he's a rabbit! Worse! He's a rabbit! We have to do something! Don't panic. We'll find a way to fix this. Let's think. Hmm. Maybe we can rejig his wires. 
or hit his reset button. Rob? Oh, no! Ah! What happened? Rob isn't just a robot. He's a Destructo Bunny. We've got to find him. Come on. Huh? Here, Robert, Robert, Robert. Oh, we really need to take safety more seriously around here. I know you're there. I hear you, Rob. Ah, you're not Rob. forgot. I was saving it for later. Here comes Rob. I hope this works. Ready? Now! <laughs> Robo sticks! He's too quick! We'll never catch him. He's too fast. <laughs> Who put that there? Are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Woohoo! You're okay! You're okay! Rob isn't a robot anymore! A rabbit? Would you believe us if we said you thought you were a rabbit? A rabbit? You mean the animal with floppy ears that hops? <laughs> That's silly. Uh-huh. But it's true. Huh? We think one of your wires came loose when you hit your head on that rake. That rake? For real? Wow, I guess I should be more careful, huh? We should all be more careful. <laughs> this looks amazing! And now that the garden tools are put away, no one will get hurt. Right! Now we'll have yummy vegetables to look forward to. And you know what that means? We'll have lettuce! <laughs> yes! And it means this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the garden planet to plant a vegetable garden. Only I walked into a rake and, well, can you believe it? I thought it was a rabbit. When I bumped my head again, I returned to normal. But it made us realize how important it is to pay attention to safety. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, 